one on form, won the Grand Prix in Moscow. Can he repeat the feat here in his home city of London? Ikev, the taller of the two. And he's got those long legs, overcame the Olympic champion from Niger earlier in the day. So he's got that confidence as both men go into the open stance. And Mohamed Cho in red just taking his time. You don't want to walk into that front leg. The front leg, of course, the leg closest to the opponent. And it's a close one so far. 30 seconds gone, more or less. And no competitive action. Push kick from Cho gets close. Very good cover there from IKF. I think Cho is Cho Mohamed is just trying to find what's working. Um, and the first thing for me is that IKF has very, very good cover. So difficult to score on, as always, though, from many Russian players. No, you're right. I was talking about that. To actually get a chance to compete here, he had to overcome the Russian favourite on the way into it to get selected. So okay. they've got that same style. And not turning on the style just yet, Mohamed Cho being patient, taking his time. And it's been a bit of a stalemate so far. You always get that in the opening round. Attempted headshot, and just flicking past. IKF has a very, very unique style. We saw in his quarter-final match how he can stand pretty much with his feet together. Um, it's difficult and, and rare, and but quite clearly waiting to react. Well, you know, who, he actually reminds me of Nur Tatar in a way. Nur yeah. Tatar just stands there, picks up the leg, and of course couldn't pick up the win against Lauren Williams, who's into the final. But picking up the gam joint. Yeah, a low, a low shot there from from IKF. Too so, low on Cho. Too low on you. <laughs> you need to stop with the van. In no, well, that's it. Well, I thought I'd match up with you. But he's got the style, he's got the substance, he's got the point on the board as well. And an attacking threat. Neither have went for it. Back kick round the corner from Mohamed Cho to close proceedings on what's been a very tight first round. If they're making a highlight DVD of the competition, that will not be in it for sure. But Mohamed Cho couldn't care less. He's got that point. Yeah, I think just, just having that little bit of an edge will give you that confidence going into the second round. They were both kind of feeling each other out, seeing what's going to work, and now they'll go back to their expert coaches and figure out a plan of what they're going to do. Try I like, and open I like that little up. expert coaches plug there, coaches. that was good. Yeah, for both. <laughs> I'm not biased. You have every right to beat Mohamed Cho. Just stretching out here. Can he stretch his advantage one point? Not a very comfortable cushion, and that doesn't look like a very comfortable place to sit. And it's not comfortable reading either, because the Russian very much in this one. But having a real old chat there, Sarah. Yeah, Cho looks really relaxed there, but they that's the way um, Steve, my husband, he coaches. Quite calm, quite relaxed, quite clear, um, and they seem to, to bond really well with that style. Well, the first round, not much to report in terms of competitive action. Now, IKF has to come forward, has to try and look for a headshot. Always on the counter, though, the big man in blue. And Mohamed Cho wisely keeping that distance, just leaning back. There's a good power punch, nice. though, from the Russian. Read it nicely, landed it cleanly. And now we've got a bit of a game on our hands. Unexpected, which is good. That's what you want. A nice punch there. Did not expect him to come out with that. Yeah, caught unawares, caught off guard, and plops the punch onto the body protector of Cho. Gets himself back into this one. It hasn't really taken light just yet. The heavyweight men, it just bubbles away, and eventually, when it's required, the big power shots come back like turn and kick, just missing. You mentioned the cover of the Russian, Sarah. Yeah, I mean, for me, you can hear. You can hear it, but it's not a point. It's his arm. So, yeah, very, very difficult to score on. But as I know, um, I do know, and we've all seen it before, that Cho does have another level, and he can do some really great techniques, a lot of combinations, like the smaller weights. So he might need to pull something out of the bag. Yeah, and just speaking of pulling one out of the bag, tried to pull up a reverse turning kick there, threw his hand up in the air, and I think it caught Aikaev in the eyeball. Yep, looks like it. Well, he's obviously going to need a little bit of attention here to see a bit clearly after that. But what we can see clearly so far, nothing to separate them. Yeah, nothing at all. Too close for comfort, I think, for both athletes. 
and showing some discomfort. He's fit to continue. A finger in the eyeball. Yeah, there it was. The reverse turning kick. A little slap in the head. Unintentional, but still stings nonetheless. And I'm not sure the Gam John is fair there, but certainly given. Yeah, definitely accidental, but again, at that one, I suppose, is the ref discretion. It did hit him in the face of his hand, so. Yep, fair enough. And it makes fair viewing now for the Russian. No scoring shots yet. That left handed punch there from Mohamed Cho. Not much power on it. Threw it a little bit wide. IKF saw it coming. And not too much steam on that shot. Last 30 seconds in a second round. It hasn't really taken off yet. Both men happy to just keep it close. Back leg turning kick. Boots Cho to the ground. And that's going to be the gam, John, for falling. Back yeah. around the corner, close one there. Yeah, he's really making this difficult for Mohamed Cho. Good cover, very, very composed, difficult to score on. Cho is going to have to find that extra gear, and he has there. He's got the spin kicks, he's got the three points with the spin right at the end there, taking him into the lead, going for the last round. It's all to play for now. Well, a real stalemate of a match. That's the first technique that's actually scored. Everything else has been by way of deductions. And it's this little back kick come reverse round the corner, which he used for the knockout in Moscow against the, the heavyweight teammate. So IKF will know about that one. And he knows all about it now. 4-3, all to play for in this one. The extra gear is going to have to come out now. What else can Cho Mahama do? You know, I think IKF being quite young, maybe he hasn't got a lot of techniques in his bag yet, but what he can do is very, very good and very strong. For me, looking at this, Cho Mahama has a little bit more skill set. So he's got something else he can use to figure it out, which again, like I said before, it is always a risk. If you try to open up, try something different, you are then open to get scored against. No, I agree with you on that one. The physicality will take you so far, but it's the, the skills that pay the bills. But at the moment, into the open stance, not much to separate them. Mohamed Cho changes to avoid the reach there of IKF. The front leg popping out now from the Russian. Response from Mohamed Cho. This one beginning to boil into a fight now. Open stance, and it's all open for a shot in the Grand Prix final. IKF one paced. Mohamed Cho beginning to step it up here. Back leg turning kick. Well blocked again. A little glimmer on the scoreboard, but not enough power to score. Chop kick turns to a spin. And Cho, as you mentioned, Sarah, that repertoire beginning to turn up the heat a little bit. Yeah, he has to keep doing something to make it happen. He can't stand still for too long because IKF has that kind of sneaky reaction straight off the spot. And with his long legs as well, you've got to be careful of the distance. I think both athletes are aware, though, that Cho Mohammed is going to spin. Yeah, he's got that spin in his locker. He's got the quality. The headshot attempt there from the big Russian. He tries to score round the back. There's the back leg turning kick this time. They have all the skills, but it's just the time at which you use them. As we move into the last round here, no gam, John. Could have thought about it, the referee. Very tense. Good option there for Cho, and a point as well. Excellent shot there. And a big power punch from Mohamed Cho. Pulls him into the lead now. Tries to go for it again. Almost eats a head kick on the way through. And when you're weighing upwards of 100 kilos, that's a knockout shot, so it does well to ride it. Slips back off the guard. IKF tries to score with a body shot underneath. The jumping twist there from Mohamed Cho. It was a twist, but no shout. As he in with a shot with a reverse tunnel kick, misses by a whisker. And a gam jump for your efforts, but you know, it, that could have been four points, so sometimes you have to take the risks. Well, took the risk, didn't get the reward, tries it again this time, hook kick round the corner, IKF just looking for one shot. Can he find a gap under the guard of Cho, into the last seconds here. Mahama Cho leaves the gap, leaves our space, takes a gam jaunt as well, and how quickly fortunes can turn here. The Russian 
has sped into the lead back kick needed from Cho kicks low he's going to get the gouge on for falling it's going from bad to worse for the Brit here three point gap needs a big headshot Mohamed Cho steps through good block from Ikaev and the Russian escapes into the London evening and into the Grand Prix final manages a grin at the end Mohamed Cho was professional, was organised, but at the end had his 